times, which is what we've got there then on the wall in this uh, video is two times switches. They're both the same make and model. It's just that I've got two of them there to show the uh, the different specification plates and cases that these time switches that can be accommodated in them. What we're looking at there then is the Horseman VMK7 SRS. With this one, unlike the number 4 and the number 5, this one is a rate changer. This also means that not only can it switch a load, it can also trigger a rate change on a dual tariff electricity meter. For the Horstman VMK7 SRS, the switching capacity is 80 amps, and for the little auxiliary contact which is associated with the rate change it is 2 amps. The synchro motor in these require 200 to 250 volts and the most important bit of course is the alternation frequency at 50 hertz in order to get it to run at the correct speed. With these time switches because they are mechanical they do have a spring reserve mechanism in them and the spring reserve is good for 15 days of power loss and the spring reserve can be wound up with little square shank in the middle of the clock faces as it can be seen there then there are two types of case which can be uh, suited for the VMK7 either time switch will fit into either case the advantage with the one piece polycarbonate front case is that they are a little more tougher and immune to taking knocks and bumps there it is then now this one it does have a bit of an incorrect detailing on the, where it says type and it says in there 7d SRS we will be looking at one of those later on in another video because I do own one and we shall be having a look at what the difference is between a 7SRS and a 7D SRS. These time switches they are removable from the case uh, they just unplug basically. We shall be having a look at that in a moment or two. And there we go. So as it can be seen the front case is just hinge open and that then reveals the time switches inside. There we are, that shows the time switches removed from the bases. Just down on the floor I have placed both of the time switches and we shall have a look at the pin base that's on them. There they are then. I've placed one so it's uh, facing towards us and the other one is facing against the wall. And there we are then. You can see that the time switches are now back in the case. I've hinged and closed and tightened up the screws. For the more observant view, you will have, will have noticed that I have reinstated the time switches into the cases in the reverse position. This is so that uh, just to show that the time switches can be put into either case.